If you missed part two of this recap, then you're clearly a gay. As the unit's leader, Goat held the power to influence Zephyr's transfer to the hunting team with just a word to the Human Resources Department. He was convinced that Zephyr was attempting to impress him for that very reason. However, Goat knew he wasn't in dire need, and beating a simple kobold dungeon wouldn't be enough to win him over. Unbeknownst to Goat, Zephyr didn't aim to impress him. With Zephyr's abilities, recognition, and advancement were inevitable. However, as of now, he remained a miner unable to enter a dungeon without permission. Hence, he sought Gota's help to gain access. Gota, we need to talk, Zephyr requested. The scene shifts to a forest where a man, clearly worn out from running, finds himself surrounded by deceased comrades. In a state of panic, he pleads for his life, insisting that he wasn't part of the deceased group. He tries to remind the temple's imposing figure of their shared past within the temple. Desperately, he calls out to the leader, Sahak, urging him to believe that he doesn't worship the god of demons. Ignoring the man's pleas, Sahak commanded with a menacing glare, Crush him! The massive man swung his flail, obliterating the fellow comrade. The lifeless body twitched and a centipede slithered out from his mouth. Sahak infused his sword with mana, swiftly slicing the centipede as his blade gleamed. That was a marked centipede! Sahak declared, licking his sword, certain that the fallen man was a worshiper of Tartarus. You killed seven team members just to catch one rat. That's a seven to one ratio. Doesn't that seem rather inefficient? Said a shadowy figure seated behind a desk. Tapping his finger in annoyance, the figure known as Inquisitor Matthias scrutinized Sahak. You know how these people operate, Sahak replied. Inquisitor Matthias, we can assume that the other unit members have already been converted. There's only one month till the raid. If we don't root out the heretics hidden in the temple as soon as possible, we'll regret it later. All right, I'll handle things with the hunting team, but I expect tangible results in return. Remember, you're representing me. Don't bring me any embarrassment, instructed Inquisitor Matthias. Yes, sir, responded Sahak with a smug smirk on his face. The Human Resources Department. All right, Captain Goat from Recon Unit D. Please begin by completing the application. Who are you nominating for a transfer and what's their current role? Inquired the clerk seated behind the desk. This is Zephyr. He's currently working in the mining team, just joined this week, Goat explained. Understood, just a moment, responded the clerk. If you recommend someone from another department for transfer to your unit, they'll be associated with your team. If any errors by that person affect your unit's performance negatively, it could impact your chances of receiving bonuses or promotions. Do you agree to these conditions? Yes, I agree, said Gota, offering a smile to the clerk. Of course I would. On the flip side, if he excels, all the recognition will come to me. He chuckled. Life's all about luck. Gota couldn't believe his luck. The previous day in the dungeon, he queried, What do you mean? You want me to act like the fight with the Predator never happened? That's correct, responded Zephyr. Is it because you want to claim the monster's bodies? Only the predator. I'll leave the kobolds. You can simply inform your superiors that it was a kobold den, Zephyr said with a grin. In dungeons, you come across various treasures like monster remains, mana stones, and items. However, temple slaves aren't permitted to possess any of these findings. Everything found by slaves belongs to the temple. For a warrior slave on the hunting team, the only hope is a reward for clearing the dungeon and a bonus based on the loot's value. I could make more money if I sold this to a broker, mused Zephyr. That's impossible. Haven't you forgotten? There's a standby unit waiting outside to prevent that, remarked Gote. Besides, even if we strike a deal, the follow-up unit will inspect the area for items anyway. Ah, got it. How about this? Zephyr rested his hand on the predator's carcass. There seemed to be something here, a light emitted from the predator and vanished in an instant. There's nothing here now, Zephyr mentioned. Goat was amazed. Does he have an inventory? He pondered. It was hard to believe. Most inventories can barely accommodate a few items, yet Zephyr made that colossal monster vanish. Even the bloodstains on the ground disappeared. Gota, don't you aspire for a promotion? Zephyr stated, his fist clenched. I'll conquer three additional dungeons for you. You can distribute the spoils among yourselves. In return, I'd like to claim the monster remains. 
The count of dungeons cleared every quarter, especially the battles undertaken, significantly influences the assessments for promotions. This encompasses even lower-tier dungeons like Kobold Dens. As the recon unit, we seldom engage in battles. That's why I've remained a unit leader for the past three years. Gota reflected silently. Having someone as formidable as Zephyr on his team alters everything. The recon unit holds the initial entry into dungeons, granting them exclusive access without interference. If they successfully clear multiple dungeons with a small group, it elevates Goat's status as the unit leader. Goat desires a promotion, while Zephyr seeks monetary gains. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Their primary concern is evading detection while executing their plan. If I manage to sell the Predator at a good price, I can clear off my debt easily. I wish to leave this temple as soon as possible, but there's something I must accomplish here, Zephyr thought to himself. The Temple Knights are planning a major raid in about a month, aiming for an item that will create waves across the land. I have to be part of that mission at any cost. I must obtain that item to alter the future. Your registration is done, Zephyr. You're officially part of the hunting team now. Here's your ID tag. Take it to the armory to get your basic gear. Zephyr missed joining the last expedition because he joined the hunting team after the participant list was finalized. They only select a maximum of 20 individuals from the hunting team. To be picked, you need exceptional talent or influential connections. Zephyr had a strategy in mind. The only uncertainty was when he could execute it. You'll find the armory on the first floor of that building, where there will be a line of people. I need to visit the hospital briefly to check on Dale and Marco's injuries. If you have any belongings to retrieve, Gote was cut off by approaching footsteps. Quickly, Gote instructed Zephyr to lower his head and bow. As the five temple knights walked past, everyone halted and respectfully lowered their heads. Those are the Inquisitor's official agents. They are slaves who directly serve the Inquisitor. It's best to treat them as superiors, not fellow slaves. They have the authority to label anyone as heretics and punish them without a trial. People have been taken away for minor reasons like bumping into them or not showing proper respect. Especially Sahak, the mad hound at the front. He joined the Inquisitor's agents to pursue his desire for violence. Once he sets his sights on someone, he never lets them escape. Be cautious around him, advised Gota. Hey, you there, Sahak called out. Goat was startled. Did he hear me? He was frightened. Excuse me for a minute, something is bothering me, Sahak said, turning to face Goat and Zephyr. He pointed at Zephyr and said, You, Miner, I'm Sahak, an agent of the Inquisitor. Tell me your name and position, as he removed his hood. Sir, this is Zephyr. He was just transferred to my team. If there's any problem, as the team leader, I'll make sure to... Gota started, but was interrupted abruptly. Hey, shut up. I didn't ask you, Sahak snapped, his gaze furious and intense. Goat felt a suffocating aura grip him, causing his body to shiver. Gasping, he muttered, what is this murderous aura? The pressure was released and he staggered backward. Now I'm certain. I can sense it just by his presence. Most others wouldn't notice, but my senses are sharp. This guy holds serious power. He's in minor attire, yet he was recently shifted to the hunting team. It implies he previously worked in the mining team. New slaves undergo tests before station assignment, including physical and mana assessments. Those with combat skills usually get noticed since the hunting team is always in need. And yet, someone as strong as him was placed in the mining team and then nominated for a transfer to the hunting team. Something doesn't add up, Sahak pondered to himself. The knights formed a circle around Zephyr, blocking any escape routes while Sahak approached him. He might be strong, but we've got this under control. Answer my questions and don't even think about lying. Sahak smirked menacingly. Zephyr chuckled inwardly. Who does this dickhead think he is? He's practically serving himself up on a platter for me. 